hello everyone welcome back to our channel amai raj home school so today's video is about the solar system in this video we are going to learn about the solar system means the family of sun in which we will include all the planets asteroid meteoroids and comet so video is going to be very very interesting and if you like the video please like it share it and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it and hit the bell icon for the latest updates now let's continue the video so the objectives that we are going to cover in this video describe the solar system number 2 explain how the solar system formed number 3 describe the sun the eight planets and the space rocks so all these topics we are going to cover in this video so i hope you all are excited kids so first let's talk about introduction the solar system is made up of the sun and everything that orbits or moves around it this includes the planets moons dwarfed planets and space rocks means comets meteorites and asteroids now let's read about how did the solar system formed scientists believe that the solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago first the sun was born from a spinning cloud of dust and hot gases next the rocks dust and gas particles that orbit around the sun formed the planets the leftover materials stuck together and became comets asteroids and meteors so now what is the next thing that we are going to learn it is about the sun the sun is the center of the solar system and is composed mostly of hydrogen and helium gas it is a source of the energy which makes life on earth possible the eight planets orbit around the sun in elliptical orbit so now we are going to talk about the planets so the number one planet that is nearest to the sun is mercury mercury is the closest planet to the sun because it is so close to the sun it is very hot in mercury during the day time the temperature can reach up to 430 degree celsius or you can say 806 degree fahrenheit now we are going to talk about the planet number 2 venus venus is the second planet from the sun it is between mercury and earth even though it is further from the sun venus gets hot than mercury during the day time it becomes hot because it has a thick and dense layer of gases surrounding it because of the atmospheric layer that it has it is known as the hottest planet now we are going to talk about earth earth is the third planet from the sun it lies in what scientists call the goldilocks zone which means it is at a distance that is not too close or too far away from the sun the distance from earth to the sun is one of the most important factors that enables the planet to support life and this is the only planet where life 
exist. Now we are moving to the number 4 planet. It is Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is between Earth and Jupiter. The atmosphere on Mars is quite dusty. The dust is blown around the wind in huge dust devils. Dust devils are strong, well-formed swirls of wind and dust. Now, let's move on to the next planet. It is Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It is the biggest planet in the solar system. It is even bigger than the other planets put together. It has a small rocky core. The rest of it is made of liquid and gas clouds. So I hope kids you are enjoying it. So please like it, share it and subscribe the channel. Next planet that we are going to talk about is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. Like Jupiter, it also has a small rocky core. The rest of it is also made of liquid and gas clouds. It is smaller than Jupiter, but it is still a big planet. It is more than 700 times the size of Earth. Oh my God, this is too big. And it has rings, so it is also known as ring planet. So next planet that we are going to learn is Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is a freezing cold planet with a rocky and icy core. Its mantle and middle layer is composed of molten iron. The outermost layer is an atmosphere of methane which make Uranus appear blue and green in color. So it is also known as blue or green color planet. Next that we are going to learn the planet is Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. It is the most distant planet in the solar system. It is about 30 times further from the sun than Earth. Beyond Neptune, there are dwarf planets, asteroids and comets. So next, we are going to learn about what? Asteroids. Asteroids are huge metallic rocks moving around the sun. They are covered in regolith which is a layer of fine rock and dust particles. They have craters or holes which are caused by their collision to other space objects as you can see in this photo. Now let's move on to the next topic. So next thing that we are going to learn is comets. Comets are icy, dusty rocks that orbit the sun along an elongated path. When comets come close to the sun, the frozen water and gases heat up created a tail of gas and dust particles. Apart from this, I have already made a video on asteroid, comets and all these topics. Link you will get in the description box if you have not yet watched. So go and watch that too. Next, we are going to learn about meteors. Meteors are rock pieces from outer space that enter the Earth's atmosphere as they quickly travel through the thick atmosphere, they burn and glow. They look like streaks of light shooting across the sky. That is why they are also known as shooting stars. So now in the end, check for understanding. What is the solar system? How did the solar system formed? What are the eight planets of the solar system? What are comets, meteors, asteroids? What makes life on Earth 
possible i hope guys you like the video please like it share it and subscribe the channel so milte hain next video mein till then bye bye take care and thank you so much for watching our video